basic foundation piecing and adding dimension. Begin always by photocopying your original because the paper is destroyed in the process. We're going to start piecing our fabric in the order that the numbers appear on the pattern. We've cut a piece big enough for number one, which is the dragonfly body. All of your sewing is done with the printed side up and all of your fabric is placed on the unprinted side. Number one fabric is placed right side away from the paper pattern. You can hold it up to the light and you can see that all of area number one is covered. You can pin that to secure it. Next, cut background fabric big enough for number two and number three areas. Remember all your fabric is placed on this unprinted side. Now we're working with the seam or this line between one and two, the next biggest number. And we're working kind of blind because there are no number uh, lines on the back. So you can crease that line to give you a line here to work with. Now we place the piece that was cut big enough to cover area number two so that it's a quarter of an inch past that crease line. The bulk of the fabric is opposite the area you're trying to cover. We'll secure that, we'll turn it over, and we're going to sew on the line between one and two. Once this is sewn, you can check to make sure by opening it up and make sure by holding it up to the light that it covers all of that area you're trying to cover. This area is extra and you can trim it. And one thing you can do when you're working with a dark and a light is you can trim the dark shorter. Because it's hard to press from the dark to the light by trimming the darker shorter. When we turn it over we won't have a shadow or a dark part of the fabric showing through. Now we want to press this so that it's nice crease. And we need to work with the next line between one and the next biggest number, which is three. And we're going to crease that line between those two areas. And that will transfer the location to the fabric side where there's no print. We're going to put number three fabric so that it is a quarter of an inch past that line. So the crease is here. We're going to turn it over and we're going to sew on that line. Notice it doesn't have to be straight cut because it's the sewing that's going to define that line. Again, we trimmed the extra out of the seam, undercutting the dark. And when we open it up, it will cover that next area. That's basic foundation piecing. Next, on the same pattern, we'll show how to add dimension by adding the wings.